Which you guys got another video here for you. This is the Lano laptop cooler. Now, when Lano reached out to me about their product, I thought I'd do a quick review of it just to see whether it works or not. This is what you're going to get inside the box. You're going to get your power adapter. You're going to get the actual Lano cooler here. This is the V2 model. You're also going to get a new filter cover, a USB cable here, and we also have our user manual. Now, the user manual shows you how to set this up. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm assuming you can power this device with this USB cable as well, because there is one in the kit. And that's whether you want to use either a, a power plug or that actual USB cable. So here we have a very powerful fan here that spins up to 2800 revs per minute, which is quite loud. Uh, but again, we have this sealer here, this rubber foam sealer. And what this is going to do is cause a vacuum between the actual laptop and the cooler itself. Now, do these work? I've seen quite a few big YouTube channels promoting these and saying they work very well. So I thought I'd give it a spin myself and to see whether it actually works. Now, I do have a gaming laptop, which is quite powerful. It's got a 99 and a, a 4080, uh, RTX 48 in it. These little plastic holders here will hold the laptop in place when it's at an angle because we do have some feet risers on the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. Here is your controller here to control the speed of the fan. We also have our RGB on here as well. And also we do have our RGB on or off and we have our power button on or off as well. So let me go ahead and spin this over. So this is where the air is going to be drawn in to the actual uh, cooler here. We have these riser feet here, which you can elevate right up like so. So you can get some airflow underneath and this will suck air through this area here. It's going to draw air in through the bottom. And that's why we have that filter there. Let me just take this off so you can see. I'll pull this off so you can wash these out and also change them if you needed to. So basically what's going to happen, the air will be drawn through this filter here, through the bottom, and then getting caught into that vacuum inside the top part where that foam is and the laptop will sit on top. And I'll show you this in a second here. But basically, this is quite a powerful fan. Now, is it going to work? Well, we'll have to wait and see because I'll do a test with it uh, either without the fan and also with this fan on. So let's go ahead and clip this back into place. I'm going to flip this back over. We've got some anti-slip rubber feet here. I'm going to leave these uh, riser feet up here so we've got some elevation here. It's made of plastic and uh, it's pretty rigid. And again, it's not going to be going anywhere. You've got a big sticker on the back here to make it look like there's a vent there, but there's not, it's just a sticker. There's nothing all the way around apart from on this side here, where we do have some ports here. We have some uh, USB ports, we have three of those, and a Type-C USB port, and also a power input right here. So what we'll do now is we'll get this put down and set up, and I'll get the laptop on top of this, and we can see how good this is. So what I'm gonna do is set this down right here, and again, you can see with the elevation right here, there's a massive big airflow under here to allow air to be pulled in and through the actual fan. And then it will get trapped in this vacuum here. You can see the massive big gap here now, which is not available when you have a laptop flat down. So this laptop here does have its own elevated uh, keyboard here. And here we have our dial for turning it on an ERGB. I'll show you this in a second when I power it on. I'm going to hold this on and power it on. And uh, I've muted the sand at the moment, but I will give you a sand test of the uh, revs per minute and what it sounds like under full load and under the recommended 1000 to 1200. Here is the RGB. You can change the colors on this if you want to. I'm not going to mess around with that too much. Or you can turn the RGB off altogether if you don't want RGB on. So, We've got our laptop all set up here. So let me go ahead and we'll start uh, doing a test for this particular device. So the, here is the actual 2800 it goes up to. And believe you me, that is pretty loud. Uh, but hopefully it will call the laptop. So here we have our laptop, which is what we're going to use. This is an Asus laptop. And again, it's a gaming laptop because it has an RTX 4080 in it, a 99 inside here. And if you look at these two squares here, this is where there is a gap in the vent to allow air to be drawn in through the bottom. This is important because this is how these cooling pads work. 
the laptop is going to sit on top of the cooling pad and it's going to draw air through here and it's going to force air into the laptop and hopefully cool it right down. Now this section right here is blocked uh, but there is two areas where there is fans underneath here which is going to help cool the laptop down uh, the way it does in a normal way but we're going to be putting this on top of that laptop cooling pad and see whether it works. So we do have some anti-slip rubber feet on the actual laptop. So here we have the laptop set up right here. And again, you can see the elevation there. That's to allow air to get inside here uh, to help cool these laptops down. And we're going to set this up onto the pad first. I'll do a, a test on the pad and then I'll do a test without the pad like this so we can get a result to see what it's like. So let's power on the actual unit here. And we're going to leave it on 1200 here because apparently that's where it should be roughly to help cool this down. And uh, what we'll do is I'll show you a close up of the actual test that we got going on here. So let me just open this up and I'll take you into a close up of what it's like. So the very first test we're going to do is with the actual cooling pad at 1200 revs per minute. So I've got the uh, software open and uh, what we'll do is I'll reset uh, the clock here and we'll give this a go and see what it's like so let me just reset the hw info so we're starting off from a fresh canvas and there we are the test is now running as you can see it's been running for two minutes and 49 seconds and we've already got a little bit of package ring thermal throttle there and now it's starting to kick in for core thermal throttling and remember this is with the alano version 2 uh, laptop cooling pad on and you can see we're already getting quite a few CPU packets here, right up to 96 Celsius here. And this is with the actual cooler at 1200. And again, you can see a close up look here. We are getting thermal throttling as well, and it's starting to uh, get pretty bad. And uh, we have got 90 Celsius here right now, and we're at 1200. And I'm gonna ramp this right up to 2800 here. And again, that is pretty loud. That's like being near an aeroplane, it really is. And you can see uh, we're getting some major thermal throttling issues here. And the temperature has now, at the core temps, are at 89 Celsius, but they have spiked up to 96. And they've gone red there. And you can see we're getting 28% here. So let's go ahead now and try it with just the laptop. I'm gonna jump straight into it. I haven't had a chance to cool this laptop down too much. I'm just gonna go straight in and we'll start the test off. So now we're just using the laptop as it was meant to be when you purchased it. And I've reset the actual HW info and we are now running the test. And you can see this has now been running for four minutes and we haven't had any thermal throttling whatsoever and we've had no issues. So in my opinion, I think that actual uh, cooling pad has actually made things worse for this particular laptop because the temperatures were better without the actual cooling pad. And also we had no thermal throttling whatsoever, and it's actually maintained a better temperature. Now, how is that possible? I think what's happening is it's blowing so much air into that actual uh, laptop that it's actually causing a lot of issues with the actual fans. It's actually causing an issue with the actual fans that are spinning in there. Maybe there's too much air getting trapped inside and it's turning into warm air. I really don't know, but this didn't work for this particular laptop. So unfortunately, uh, my testing has shown that with the cooling pad, it made the situation worse for this particular laptop. Now, I've seen lots of YouTubers, big YouTube channels with 2 million subscribers promoting this and saying it worked really, really well uh, and things like that. So that is the reason why I took the opportunity to do a review on this because when they offered to send it to me for a review, I wanted to give it a test myself. And of course, it's actually made the situation worse. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section on what you think happened here and why this was worse for this laptop with this particular cooler rather than seeing an improvement. And I just believe it's something to do with the air being pushed into the laptop and it didn't like it and it was causing major problems. But on their website, it does claim that it does reduce temperatures and GPU temperatures. But at $92.99, I'm not too sure whether it's worth spending that money on something that's making a situation worse for some laptops. 
because the last thing you want to do is spend all that money on a laptop uh, especially a gaming laptop which costs thousands of dollars and you're putting something on like this which could actually uh, hinder its cooling where it's actually cooling itself better with without the cooler i think you could be actually causing damage to your laptop by using something like this so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below whether you thought this was going to work or not because i've always been a bit of a skeptic when it comes to these cooling pads and I've never really thought they worked, but now we've tested it and I can say it doesn't work with this particular laptop. Maybe it works with other ones. If I get my hands on another gaming laptop, I will give it a test. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.